Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is our server edition of our LZH Project video series and I would like to welcome you guys. And we will start with uh, Apache Web Server. These video series will be based on various servers uh, starting from Apache, then we will go to Squid Server, then we will see what is Samba Server, then we will see DNS Servers, then we will see uh, Storage Servers, Gluster File System, Your Backup, and tons of things. Uh, whatever I have uh, learned in my ex with my experience, and I would like to share with you guys, of course, free of cost. But uh, I would like to, before I start, I would like to have a few words regarding my previous videos. Uh, they were a success. I would really like to thank all of my viewers, my subscribers, and all of your friends, and all of my friends who have made this project su successful. And I am hopeful that in future, we'll uh, see more success. Also, if you guys, uh, want to comment uh, would like to tell me how i can make my videos much better you can always comment on youtube videos uh, you can always send me an email at learning at itpings.com uh, you can always uh, comment on our facebook page which is lzh-project and of course it's linux zero to hero you can search it through the group section and you can always join our group and whatever you like please do leave feedback because it's really helpful and it's uh, it makes my videos uh, much better so let's start with apache web server uh, what is apache uh, apache is the most popular web server on the internet it has more than 50 percent shares of uh, internet web servers its basic uh, use is to serve web pages that's why it's a web server and we will see how to set it uh, up uh, from the scratch we will also see how to set up a virtual host in apache we will see how we can set up basic authentication so it's uh, pretty simple and pretty straight uh, uh, server and it's uh, it, it doesn't take much to set up apache web server but i hope you will learn a lot uh, from this video so let's start so to install Apache in CentOS 7 <clears throat> uh, we can see that our release is uh, 7.0 core and to install Apache we will use yum hyphen y install httpd that's how you install Apache Web Server. And we can see that we already have this package. Uh, but if you uh, don't have this package, it will be installed. And then you can always query with... Uh, you can always query with rpm-qa, httpd. And HTTPD is Apache. So now uh, we'll see that what is uh, etc passwd and what is the username of uh, HTTPD. It's Apache uh, basically most of the time. And there we have it. <clears throat> and so now we have already installed apache and now we need to set it up so to set it up uh, we will go to etsy directory or etc directory httpd conf directory press enter ls and here we have the main httpd.conf uh, or apache configuration file before making changes please make a copy of it so that if anything goes wrong you can always have a backup copy and now we will configure our Apache web server but before doing it let's check our IP address so IP ADDR show will reveal that our IP address is 1.2 
192.168.1.2 we can ping google dns so we have internet availability and uh, that's it so let's go to httpd.conf and first thing i would like to change here is go to listen and you will see that it's by default it's like this so all you have to do is change it to 192.168.1.2 like your ip address and the port number where you would like your apache to listen on and uh, by default it's port 80 okay and trust me that's it we will just save the changes okay and we will make sure that apache always starts when the system starts enable httpd.service press enter okay and once it's done now what we are going to do is uh, okay let me take you back to httpd.conf and explain you where basically we will keep our websites so we will go to document root okay here this thing is also important user is apache group is apache please don't forget this okay and this is the where you will get emails okay and who is the server admin of course it's root at localhost and you can change it uh, you can put your web server name over here with server name and uh, but since we are only using IP addresses uh, IP address so there's no need for one right now okay here is the document root this is important and if you can read this that document root the directory out of which you will serve your documents so this is the directory slash var slash www slash html and this can be anything but you need to make sure that you know what you are doing so by default it's var www html so in this directory we will keep our or put our website so let's do that cd slash var slash www html ls at the moment we don't have any page over here uh, this cell repo you can see it's from our previous video when we made our uh, CentOS repository so we are not going to touch that uh, what we are going to do is we will just make one index.html file and if you know HTML coding uh, you can just create one simple page mm -hmm. Okay, and welcome to Bill's H. Project. Okay, that's it. The uh, system CTL just restart httpd.service and we are good so let's go to a web browser and try to browse our website okay so here we have our centos machine and it's giving me some errors but we have opened now we will type our ip address with http 192.168.1.2 press enter and there we have it so this is how uh, the basic apache web server works <clears throat> and in our next video we will uh, i'll show you how we can make uh, virtual hosts uh, to work with apache and some basic theory and then the practical so see you in our second part thank you